What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bromatic Life Adventures. I'm down here with my nephew. He is assembling a brand new grill that I just bought. <clears throat> so I guess that means I have to learn how to get my barbecue on. But anyway, I just got through completing one full year of RVing and I had the opportunity to experience many different type of RV experiences, camping experiences, RVing adventures in general. Um, one of the things that I always enjoy, no matter what the adventure is, I always enjoy eating good meals. So today I'm gonna talk to you about my favorite five RV camping meals for 2023. Let's go. To bromatic life adventures. Let's go. All right, so before I share my favorite five RV camping meals for 2023, if you have not already done so, don't forget to click on the like button, hit subscribe if you've not subscribed already, click on the notification bell so you'll be informed anytime a new video is released. And don't forget to share this video with your friend. All right, so here we go. These are my favorite five RV camping meals for 2023. Number five, bacon cheeseburger sliders with fresh cut potato wedges. While camping in Lake Tawakini, I decided that I wanted to make a quick hearty meal so I could spend more time relaxing than preparing a meal. So I decided that sliders would be the perfect meal. I started by cutting a potato up into wedges, seasoning them up real good, and throwing them in a cast iron skillet to get them going. I started the bacon cooking in another pan cause, well, you gotta have bacon. And for me, I gotta have my peppers and onions. I shaped my beef up into three inch patties and added them to the skillet with the peppers and onions. I added my Hawaiian slider buns to another pan to give them a nice toast. For extra taste, I added sweet baby raised barbecue sauce onto my patties. Once my peppers and onions were good and caramelized, I added them on top of the patties also. Finally, I added American cheese and bacon, cause well, you gotta have bacon. And I must say, the bacon cheeseburger sliders and fresh cut potato wedges definitely hit the spot. Number four, meatless Philly cheesesteak. For my version of this Philly cheesesteak with no meat, I'll be using mayo, barbecue sauce, Italian seasoning, garlic powder, smoked paprika, ground turmeric, onion powder, cayenne pepper, ground cumin, ground coriander, seasoning salt, ground black pepper, butter, hokey buns, provolone cheese, one whole red pepper, one whole green pepper, one whole onion, and oyster mushrooms.
Y'all, check this out. Tastes like meat. Number three, smoked Parmesan chicken thigh skewers. All right, tonight I'm going to be cooking smoked Parmesan chicken thighs on skewers. Man. So for this meal, we'll need salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, Parmesan, olive oil, garlic powder, smoked paprika, and of course, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We're gonna start by cutting them up. All right, so this is my current situation. Yes, sir. Put a little finishing touches with a little Italian seasoning. Top it off with this Parmesan. Y'all stop playing with me. Oh man. Oh man. Well y'all, this is so good. I'm about to go ahead and Eat a couple of these and wind down. Wind down for the night. Mm. So good. Number two, cast iron skillet pizza on the grill. So anytime that you are doing camping meals, it's always fun to cook your meals at the campsite, wherever you'll be camping. Um, but there are some things that you probably need to do at the house. So I want you to take a look at how I prepared the dough for this cast iron skillet pizza. Check this out. Two cups of bread flour, two teaspoons of yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, and one teaspoon of salt. Two thirds cups of warm water and stir. Add a little bit of olive oil and stir again. Now, knead the dough by hand until the dough begins to feel sticky. Add a little olive oil to the bowl. Place the dough inside the bowl. Add a little olive oil to the dough. Cover and let the dough sit for a minimum of two hours. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pour in a little olive oil, just enough we can coat the bottom of the pan. I'm going to add a little Italian seasoning into it, as well as some garlic and pepper. And then also, and I'm just going to take my fingers, kind of season that, spread it on the bottom of the pan. I'm gonna go ahead and get my dough that I prepared last night. And instead of rolling it out, I'm just gonna start from the middle and press it out. That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the skillet on top of the grill. Let's check and see how our crust is doing. We're gonna add a little, spread it on the bottom of our pan. Mozzarella cheese is about to be hitting, baby. Not the paper.
what we are looking like. Ooh, look at that. As you can see, sauce is boiling. Ooh, you hear the crunch of that? That crust sounds crunchy. I like that. We gonna taste it. The taste is really good. Overall, I think this is a great camping meal. The pineapples on this pizza set it off. Don't judge me. I don't want to hear it in the comments. And number one, steak and veggie foil packet meal. All right, y'all. Today, I am going to be trying something new that I've never tried before. And it's called a foil packet meal. The way it's designed is you get some foil, you put all the things that you're going to cook inside of the foil, and you lay it on the actual charcoal. So right now my, my, my coals are burning until they turn right, until they're ready for me to pull them into the grill. Once they're into the grill, we'll get them smoothed out and we're gonna lay our foil packet meal on top of the coals. Again, I've never done this before, but I've seen the results and it looks amazing and hopefully mine will end up amazing too. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get two sheets of foil. And then after that, I'm gonna put a little olive oil Next, I'll add some red and white potatoes, some carrots. Next, I'll add some mushrooms. Then, I'll add some onions and green peppers. Chuck steak. Now, I am going to add a little more this olive oil, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, seasoning salt, smoked paprika, pepper, a little salt, a little soy sauce. Now, I'm going to wrap it, flip it. I'm going to wrap it again. And now it looks like we are ready go so let's head outside all right looks like our coals are ready to go so now I am going to get the coals all right so I have it the foil pack meal on top of the coals that's what I was instructed to do so we will put it on for a while and come back and check on it all right so now I'm going to go outside and get the foil packet meal off of the grill hopefully it's ready because i am hungry all right y'all here we go i got it off the grill and it is some piping hot here we go here we go Whew, that's hot that looks so good well i will let you know how it is in a few minutes Oh my God. I know y'all think I'm exaggerating. This meat fell apart as soon as I put it in my mouth. Mm -hmm -hmm. Well, my first foil packet meal was a success. This is good the potatoes, the mushrooms, carrots delicious anyway I ain't got time to shoot a video right now this food is good I'm about to tear it up thank you for watching this episode of Romantic Life Adventures if you thought this episode was cool click on the like button and share this channel with your friends if you have not already done so I invite you to click on the subscribe button so you can subscribe to this channel don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you may be notified anytime a new episode is released. If you have any positive comments, please leave them in the comments section. All these things will help me grow my channel and make it better. This is Brian the Bromad. God bless and peace.